on tonight's show. Music legend Roy George, comedian Joe Brand, Olympic gold medalist Denise Lewis, and actor and presenter Joe Swash. They are Paul O'Grady's Saturday night lineup. Please welcome your host, Paul O'Grady. everyone you're right yes yeah well good evening and welcome to my saturday night lineup how are you lot doing you all right joe joe oh, oh sorry <laughs> oh, i've got to yeah, joe no, yeah. this is going to cause confusion yeah. isn't it have you got a middle name call joe? me joe the model joe the model yeah. <laughs> George, I tell you what, you can certainly wear the hat. Oh no, I love the hat. I don't feel ready, so I've got a hat on. Just I'm like a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> George, before we kick off, I've got something I have to show you. It's okay. a picture of you, age 12, wow. with Robbie Williams, age 8, <laughs> with an international sex kitten. Oh, let's have a look. Can you flash that picture up? Hey, oh, George. Oh, no. Got a bit of slap on. But can we talk about Robbie's look? It's quite slayed or something. Very <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> like, yeah, seventies, isn't yeah. it? I don't know. I don't know where she is now. I heard she was in Amsterdam working in the hospitality industry. <laughs> <laughs> right, we ready to kick off then, folks? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay then. Now tonight, my four guests will arrange themselves in a lineup from best to worst in a variety of very revealing categories. And to score points, all they need to do is position themselves in the lineup in the same place that you, the great British public, have already put them in. So, are you ready for your first questions? Yes. Yeah, OK. Well, we asked a thousand people. Who would have been the most popular at school? I think oh. Joseph. Oh. Oh, me? Yeah, you seem like you'd be popular. No, I was never good in school. To be fair, that would make you more popular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I was popular. I was a bit of a pest in school. My school was really bad. It was like... Did you oh, go to stage school? No, I didn't go to stage school. My school was the only school that was banned from going on school trips in England. <laughs> they, were that, they were that bad. So I just spent my school life just dodging, dodging fights. I spent my school life in a tree. It was a long time when I used to sit in a tree in the woods so I didn't have to go to school, you know. Sagging, that's cool. Just, oh. I used to sit there all day. It was quite nice. That was probably where I first learned to meditate. I just used to sit in the tree See. till 3 o'clock and then go home. You're lucky, George. You had a tree in your school. <laughs> Mine was just concrete. You know, it wasn't in the school. It was in the, in the woods on the way to the school. Sometimes yeah. you had to go to school to clock in and then disappear. Is that you? George, oh, look at this oh, little angel. Butter that wouldn't melt in your face. mouth. Look I'm at so... that face. I know. Look at those ears. They're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who's the most popular in our school, the one who had ciggies, which was me. <laughs> 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 Always me. Well, Thank I you. was very popular because I used to bring lots of buns to school and then not so popular because I used to eat them all myself. <laughs> <laughs> See, Were you popular at school, Denise? I'd like to think so, but you, when you say that, someone's going to possibly yeah. ring in and say she was horrible. But <laughs> I actually like to have a bit of fun. I enjoy yeah. school and I like to keep everyone entertained. So I used to organise little races little against, you know, boys v girls, um, little competitions. And I'm pleased to say my son is keeping up that tradition. Oh, That's is amazing. he? Yes. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, he had to... <laughs> <laughs> is he running? Well, he had um, an initiation, so you can imagine, new boy at school, walks in and he's like, day two, his mum's an Olympian, let's get him on the schoolyard and, and get him to race. Yeah. And luckily, he did win. I've got a similar story, my brother had robbed the lead off the school roof, so when I went to school, <laughs> they were like, he's one of them, you know, so I went into school marked as like, oh, he's no doubt, so I was in trouble for the minute I landed, really. Yeah. Wow. See, I think you'd have been pretty cool in school. You've got aura about you, All George. my friends were girls, and they were all the troublemakers. It was yeah. all the girls that got, like, sent to detention every day. They were my <laughs> best mates, and they beat boys up for me. So they're, 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 you're, you're in the popular group, weren't you? And I think, Denise, you'd be good because I think all the kids in my school that were quite sporty and good at their sports 
We all secretly looked up to them. So I think you two have been pretty popular. Can I just say that wasn't me? That's you, isn't it? <laughs> that is me. You look you... like the kind of girl to be on the door of a club, what they call the door bitch. You know what a I mean? Door bitch. <laughs> Look, you're not coming in. I was just a bitch. Okay. <laughs> now, remember, you're trying to guess who the public think would have been the most popular at school. So this is up to the public. So, uh, should we have our first line-up of the yes, night? This yes, this would be so it's telling, it. wouldn't it, okay. really? <laughs> Are you ready, then? Yes. Let's get over there. Well, you ready to go? <laughs> All Lee. right, then. Lee. I'm, I'm thinking Lee. Joe. No, Joe Lee, is are we fighting for the spot? <laughs> are we, are we, are I, we think, I think you second. Can you swap? Well, well, I'm Although I don't see why you weren't popular. And then, I think, I think this. We're not electing a pope, you know. Is is my, my Midlands Massive's over here. I think I should go here. I reckon the, I reckon the public will say this. I reckon, I reckon Denise, you were like the jock. I mean, you're, you're an icon. I well, wasn't in school, though. I can't I imagine. Can yeah, you yeah, make yeah, your yeah. minds up? Go on, go on, Joe, get up there. I'll go, claim I'll go. it. I'll go, because I would it. like it to be me. Claim it. Wishful thinking. Go there. <laughs> go on, go. <laughs> yeah, well. We were right where we were. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Oh, God. Don't slash, don't you move. No, yeah. you know what? Come on, Joe. I find this really weird, cos you've almost got to back yourself a little bit. It's all <laughs> weird. Oh, you go. No, you go. Good. Look, I'm going to I solve the it's... problem now, cos we're going to find out oh, what Britain man. thought. Are you ready? Right. It's no. going to be embarrassing, okay, folks. It's it. So, the most right. popular was Joe, Joe. Swash yeah. at school. I feel yeah. like I won a medal. Yeah! That yeah. okay. was I right? I was right. And oh, Joe Brand, you. you're in the right position, so Whee! you get a point. Oh. Well done. Back to your seats, please. What's, Marvelous. What's the prize? Oh, wait, you see okay. the prize. Did he think I was the least popular because I was so fabulous people couldn't cope with me or just because you thought people didn't like me? <laughs> the first one. Yeah. Yes. 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 George, don't let this get you down. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want your next question? Let's have a look, please, at the next question. We asked the great British public this one as well. Put the question up, let's have a look. Who would you most like to have been stuck in lockdown with? Ooh. Joe. Which uh, Joe would you think of? Either one would have been fun, I think. OK. Yeah. I think Joe would have been the best because she would keep you laughing. Yeah. She could bake you some cakes, but you must be able to bake doing... I can't. What? No. No. The only reason my husband knows dinner's ready is because the smoke alarm goes off. <laughs> Can't you bake it? You're on that spin. No, of course you? I can't. Really? Oh, I can bake it like from a packet. That's quite <laughs> easy. <laughs> Poor Hollywood loaf of bread type thing. <laughs> Denise, what did you do in lockdown? Have a guess. Baked. <laughs> oh, you went running out in the house like a mad woman. Literally, really? I mean, lo lockdown, homeschooling. Did, I've got a clip here now. Look, this is you and your little boy, and you're trying to teach him <laughs> to say something. Let's have a look. Uh, well. Mum, tell Daddy! <laughs> 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 Daddy! Oh. Were you trying to teach him to say Mummy? Yes! That was brilliant. Oh, that was sweet. Did you sulk when he wouldn't say Mummy? I thought the ungrateful little bitch. Uh, no. <laughs> all the efforts, the late nights, the sleepless nights, yeah. and thankless. Yeah. Oh, no, that's Daddy what wins all the time. You know, typical, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> I sort of really resent people like you. You know the ones that go, I, I bettered myself in lockdown. I didn't. <laughs> I got fatter, I got lazier. You know, nothing really, nothing positive happened for me through lockdown. Oh, I'm not saying that. I mean, I'm having a baby, that's a positive yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you got engaged. This is, we got engaged and um, I thought, we was in lockdown, couldn't really do much, so I thought, I'll get a load of flowers and put them in the forest Aww. and then I'll ask Stacey to marry me. Um, I know, it sounds lovely, doesn't it? Just... But the reality didn't go like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I took her in the forest. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> I took her in the forest. I mean, I you took her for a walk in the forest. I took her for a walk in the forest. <laughs> and I set all these flowers up. And, 
as we got there, she went, oh, no. I went, what's the matter? She went, I think someone's died over there. <laughs> yeah. She went overboard, didn't she, to keep the kids entertained? Because it's all a photo of your bathroom. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh. So there's my little Rex. So the story behind this was Stacey ordered a little bit of sand for the sand pit. But she overordered, so a ton of it arrived on the door. <laughs> so, as normal people do, she decided to make the bathroom into a beach. Like, can you imagine if I'd done this stuff? Can you yeah. imagine if I'd gone into like, a washroom and, like, and, and vinyled it camouflage or something like that? She'd do her nut. But I'd just sort of sit back, take it, tidy it up, yeah. Joe, what did you do in lockdown? Um, I did a bit of painting. I decorated... You mean, like, a picture or the walls? Well, I decorated a stool, not turd, uh, uh, like a <laughs> stool. Uh, that you sit on. <laughs> and, um, my husband learned how to play the guitar. I or, learned the ukulele. Or Exhibit A, <laughs> as I came to think of it. George, I believe you were doing breathing exercises or something. I became a nose breather. That sounds insane, but I've been You were doing following... what? Nose breather? I became breather. a nose breather. Most people breathe through their mouths. And it's sounds like the right very way useful during Covid, though, George. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I know, it's great, cos if you've got a mask on, it forces you to breathe in through your nose more, and it's just more relaxing, you know, so I've really been really practising a lot of kind of meditation techniques and, and slow breathing and just trying to be, like, more zen. Do you have to hold as well when it gets to the back of the nostril? Fancy no. a bit of that, Joe. No. Bit of breathing through my nose? No. no. <laughs> I always fancy a bit of breathing, generally. I'm yeah. <laughs> frequently gasping for air, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yes. Well, that's very interesting how you all got through lockdown. I started getting on my own nerves after a while. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. This has reminded me I started drinking my own urine as well. <laughs> I've actually done that myself. <laughs> you know, you know that it's an Indian thing. I've done it. I did it when I went to India. I drank my own urine. What did Sorry. it taste like? Sort Salty. Of, um, like Bovril. That can't be healthy. I have done it by accident once, and it was horrible. <laughs> yeah. No, it's an actual thing. It's called well, the water was... of life. It's a very ancient thing. I think yeah, you have to be is. pretty healthy. It's you can't just, like, have no, a drink, you know? I was, I was so drunk yet, yeah, and I needed to go to the toilet. And I, I was coming so bothered. That's right, I was about 16 at the time. So I weed in a Lucasan, but Lucasaid bottle. And then my mum come up, tidied my room, and put the Lucasaid bottle back in the fridge. <laughs> so I've been in there all night, and then I woke up the next morning with this terrible hangover, needing, needing a drink, and thinking, opening the fridge, and not thinking of seeing this Lucasaid bottle. <laughs> opening it again, oh, there's no fizz there, it must be flat. <laughs> and taking just. Blech. Three or four of the biggest gulps of this freezing cold urine. Oh, so my good. hangover cure, I'm telling you. Thinking, oh, they've cut down on the sugar in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've heard what the guests have to say, and in just a moment, we're going to find out who Britain would most like to have spent lockdown with. So I'll see you in a tick. <laughs> Welcome back to my Saturday night lineup, where I'm joined by Boy George, Joe Brown, Denise Lewis, and Joe Swash. And if you can remember, just before the break, we asked... Oh, yeah. Who would you most <laughs> like to have been stuck with in lockdown? I think I'd be the most popular. <laughs> go on, go, go. You will. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's... I'm thinking it's... I'm Joe. taking the gamble. It probably is you, but I'm just putting myself forward. Look, there's an empty ring here. Who's going to get in it? Denise. Oh, Denise, are you oh, I'm not sure. I'm not Look, sure. Denise, you go there, Joe. Well, you go there. From most okay. unpopular to most popular. Come on. I think this is right. Are you getting in like that? that? There you I... go. Right, let's find out. Well, this is what our 1,000 people said. Oh! oh. 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 None of us are right. See, well, I said Joe. I knew Joe, it you'd you. have been the most popular to spend time with. Oh, that with was the thousand I paid. <laughs> <laughs> Just let my fiver. Yeah. And Denise, you're in the right spot, so you've got a point. Yeah. And I was close, but no dress. You're very close, George. <laughs> no, I was close, but no tiara. So after two questions, let's. Oh, fucking hell, I can't see. <laughs> oh, God. Do your breathing. Not too mm, Naomi, Naomi Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> so, after two questions, let's take a look at the score, shall we? Voila! 
Well, well done. That's Joe on the end there, and Denise neck to neck with one point each. There you go. There you go, Joe. You're the one who wants us to spend lockdown with. They probably think that's because I've loads of food in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for your next question? Yes. OK. Now, this one is a little different because this time it's not the public deciding, oh. it's a fellow celebrity. Oh. So let's get our next question from the one and only Sir Trevor MacDonald. Sir Trevor, over to you. Hello, Paul. Having spent many, many years as a news presenter, accustomed to delivering bad news to people almost on a nightly basis, my question for the lineup is which of you would be best at breaking bad news? I'm Trevor MacDonald. Back to you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Joe, what are you like at delivering bad news? Not very good. Really? I just get the giggles quite badly. I laugh at funerals and uh, things that's like that. My friend's sister's like that. She roars laughing. I mean, it's shocking, but it's with nerves, isn't it? It's not because out of disrespect no, for it's the deceased. It's, it's out of disrespect. Oh, is it? It's <laughs> <laughs> so having a bad roaring. Do you remember, like, sometimes you used to bring the coffin in the house, you know, I mean, you'll know, from an Irish family, the coffin would be in. Relatives are going and go, oh, it's a shame to bury her. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she look lovely? You know what I mean? She yeah. looks better than she did when she was alive, you know. <laughs> I like a good funeral, do you? I do. Because you don't have to buy a present. <laughs> no, really, you don't have to post for photos. And you get blind drunk and have a fight and nobody minds. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Well, a, fr a friend of mine who sadly died a few years ago, when they got to the bit in the funeral where they picked his coffin up and carried it out, Elvis Presley's return to sender came on. <laughs> and that's someone with a sense of humour. Yeah. Brilliant. I went to a cremation and it was Ring of Fire, Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. <laughs> I thought you'd be good, you know. Like, Did you? Yeah, I Me thought, too. really. Didn't Me you? Me too. I thought you'd be just... You've got the right temperament to deliver yeah. bad news. Denise, what are you like at delivering bad news? I like to think I've got a, quite a cool head. Because I have to work on live TV, I think I have to keep my composure quite quite well. So I think I'd be not too bad at delivering bad news. Not okay. too bad. What but do you in like your it? line of work, what sort of bad news would you ever have to deliver? Me javelins bust. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, me javelins just hit one of the judges. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <his eye> out. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> George, what are you like? I should imagine you're seriously good. Uh, it depends on what the news was. Obviously, I would first consider if the person needed to hear it from me. Because I think if you're going to deliver bad news, you've got to really choose the right person. So I would ask, you know. But, yeah, I think I would have massive empathy and I'd want the person to know that I cared. I think if I was dressed up, I wouldn't be able to give bad news because I don't know if anyone would take me seriously. If I was in my full gear, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could deliver bad news like this. What are you like at receiving bad news? It depends what it is. If it's yeah. like, you know, if it's something major, then sometimes it just needs a major response. You know, you have to just go kind of like... Give it the full dramatics. Yeah, some yeah. things are just unbelievable, aren't they? And you just lose it. Yeah. You know, you just can't help yourself. Uh, you know? <laughs> I lose it. I turn into <laughs> Donald Duck at bad news. You know how Donald Duck he loses his rap? <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Joe? What do you like? I'm the sort of person that would deliver bad news, but try to make it good news. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm How are you like, going to make your granny's just died sound I'd be like, good? Look, your, your nan's just died, but she had a great innings, you know? Uh, you know, <laughs> maybe she weren't even your real nan. Maybe you've got another nan out there. <laughs> you never know. Right, remember, it's uh, Trevor's opinion that counts this time, not the public, so uh, are you ready to get up again and go in the line to see who Sir Trevor MacDonald picked? Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. So I'm sort yourselves like, out. I mean, Are you getting nerd again? What is this? It's the least, though. It's the no, one that's around. the best. That's, that's, the, that's most. the most. Yeah. Worst is the outside, and this Mate, is the best. No, I feel I'm definitely think? number. I'm Denise, definitely the worst. Denise, swap with me. Come on. I Why feel do like, you think that then? Because I don't know. You've got you're very cool seeming. I think. Well, the public, I have been the public have seen you, know. you do your racing. They've seen you. Got I think you're both the most serious in a way. Do you think? Yeah. yeah oh, no, I reckon think maybe so. Joe, you've got to be up there because that doesn't mean I'm you've not actually serious. delivered bad news in your <laughs> in, in your, your job. Yeah. 
as a nurse, so you've actually experienced it and done it, so people will be thinking... Have you really? Really? I think to no, me it's... bad news, like, the canteen's shut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, not anything kind of major. Again, thankfully. I'm thinking it's you, Joe. I think, you, I you think know, there's, you. A, there's a Don't way me. you'll be able to deliver it. the straight. only reason it, it might be is because if he knows that I was a nurse, but why would he know we've never slept together? I mean, you know. <laughs> um, Look, we're going to reveal now, OK? We're going to find out... Who Sir Trevor thought would be the best person on, to Sir break Trev. bad news? Let's see what he thinks. I've decided that Joe would be the best at breaking bad news. There are two reasons for this. First, as a former nurse, she'll know how to handle the matter delicately. And second, there'll be a bit of cake at the end of it to soften the blow. Back to you, Paul, for my full line. Oh, well. You did stay with him. You did. Well, I thought he was going to go first because she's a nurse. And because we slept together. Right, let's have a look at the rest of Sir Trevor's lineup, shall we? God. Yes, George! Yes! 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 To win. I can't remember any bad news I've ever had. Oh, today. I'm always on the phone telling sort of people some old drag oh. queen's dropped out. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am. Are you ready for your next question? Yeah. Okay, here it is. Now, who would be best at holding down a regular job? What about you, Joe? Well, you were a psychiatric nurse, weren't you? That's a regular job. That's it a is. tough job. I did that for ten years. I've done loads of jobs. I used to work in a TB hospital when I was at school uh, as a cleaner. And uh, the great thing about that was that um, at the end of the shift, we started at seven in the morning, finished at one. At the end of the shift, we get free roast dinner. <laughs> and then I go home and have one at home as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favourite day. Uh, anyway, what else have I done? Oh, um, yeah, I've worked in, like, restaurants, in pubs. I worked in a French restaurant once with a very, very bad-tempered chef. Who could imagine that, right? <laughs> And he knocked over job. a massive bowl of garlic one day and he just pointed at me and went, pick that up, like that. So I spent ages picking it all up, got it all in the bowl, and he came towards me to take it and I dropped it and went, you, you pick it up now. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> I got sacked, but it was worth it. Isn't cleaning the worst job? Oh, it's hideous. Uh, a pound an hour, I used to get paid for cleaning. Awful, isn't well, it? That's grim. I'm not yeah. talking last week, you know, this was in the <laughs> sense. So. But I remember some woman coming into me with a toothbrush and saying, clean in between the bathroom tiles with this. And I said, you know where you can put this toothbrush, don't you? And you lousy quid. <laughs> now, George, I've got a photo here of you in one of your very first jobs as a hair model. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get paid for it. It was my girlfriend, Tracy. She had liberal parents and she had this mad sort of Vildo Sassoon's haircut with a perm at the back and a crop at the front and green bits. And so she took me for my haircut, a free haircut, and I agreed to model. And my mum said, whatever you do, don't let them dye your hair, of course. First thing they said was, you like a henna? And I went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I went home with a bright orange henna wedge and my mother went loopy, like, literally. <laughs> but she liked the picture. She thought I looked very sweet. And you never got paid for it? No, I've henna. got a free haircut and a henna job. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any, like, sort of ordinary, you know, what you call an ordinary job? Fruit factory, delivery boy. I used to do this delivery job, delivering parcels, and they used to let me dress up because I was never in the office. So I used to treat London like catwalk. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I picked up and everything, you know, good at work, <laughs> people's phone numbers, all sorts of things. Have you ever... Have you been fired from jobs, George, in the past? Well, it's always good to get fired, cos then you could sign on. Do you remember that? That's right, yeah. <laughs> if you weren't fired, you had to, you had to give them a reason. If you left voluntary, they wouldn't give you the job. So you'd always, That's like, make it. sure they fired you, cos if you knew, you got a sense you were going to... I always got fired. Yeah. Always. I thought I was going to get sacked. Um, on my first day on the job working for the Beebs, um, in sport, I walk into the big team meeting, you know, we've got all the um, execs there, um, the runners, producers, and I remember there was this line of, of, of people with a lady that I thought I recognised. I thought it was one of my really close friends. I'm thinking, what's she doing here? <laughs> so I bowled in, walked up, and I gave her a big slap on the bottom. <laughs> literally a proper stinger. 
She turned around and I didn't have a clue who it was. <laughs> I was mortified. I was so embarrassed, um, and everyone was just looking at me. She looked at me, and I was thinking, oh, my God, that's it. <laughs> when I was on EastEnders, right, there was this, a writer called Tony Jordan, and he was an amazing writer, but he was from London, so I really got on with him, and I was like... So, like, I'd have just a little friendly banter with him, but one of our execs, one of the top, top dogs, looked like him from behind, and I remember going to one of the awards, and him standing there, and I put my hand between his legs and just tickled his nuts. <laughs> I just gave him a little tickle, and he turned round, and he weren't the person, it was my boss. Right, well, we've all heard what they've got to say, but it's your vote that counts, and in just a moment, we're going to find out where you put them in the lineup. So, see you after the break, OK? <laughs> Welcome back to my Saturday Night lineup. Now, before the break, we asked who would be best at holding down a regular job. So it's time to put yourselves in the order that you think the great British public put you in. All right. Yeah. Least yeah. is me. Where are you us? Yeah, 100%. I agree with that. No one's going to think George. I'm serious enough to keep it going. I agree with George for the first time. Yeah, definitely. I think, Joe, you'd be up here because you've already had... You've had well, a, I only think because people know I was a nurse, they think that's, like, proper, and I it did do it for proper. 10 years. It's proper. It, it is, is proper. This is proper as we've got here. So, listen, you go there. I feel like... No, I honestly think, right... If Joe, you... Denise, you, me. If people at home... That's the truth. If any people at home have got businesses, <laughs> there's no way they'll employ me. Right. I'm going to get a job. It's a regular job. People... I'll make, I'll make regular things look difficult. Well, then, are you sorted now? Are you happy no, with these no, positions? No, no, I'm not happy. Now, listen. You're not no, happy because, here. Because you see, I feel like I you should come here, Joe. And I love you and everything, but come here. So I'd say I'd be, I'd be at the bottom. I think I'm last. No, I'm not last. I'd I'm say I'm last. OK, let's swap then. Yeah. Two swap. I'm the last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if you're right. Let's see what the public says. Oh, let's I'm have at the bottom. I'm not Who would be best? Oh! 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 And me what? second. And what? Joe, no, Joe yeah. would be the worst. <laughs> and you second, Joe. Yeah. So stay where you are at the moment, but you're in the right spot, yeah. so you get your yeah. point. Yeah. Well, fancy that. And George, you'd have been second at holding down a regular job. Well, it's true, I am a hard worker. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I'll give you that, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the overall score, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. with that. All right, then. But there's still everything to play for because it's time now. You're ready for this? For the quick fire round oh. and the clues in the name. You've got ten seconds to decide your place in the lineup. Are right. you ready? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Here's your first question. All right, then. Who's the cleverest? <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, George. <laughs> George. I don't know. Joe, you're the last. Joe! <laughs> Craig, yeah. hurry up. Time's up. Let's see the, what order Britain has placed you in. I bet I'm last again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you're all in the right spot. I'm you've not all got one point. Right. All right, I'll then. Let's have a look at question two, see what that is. Let's have a look. Who's the most down to earth? Okay, sort yourselves oh, out. You've got I ten think. seconds. You, Joe. Da -da, you. Da -da, da -da, da -da. you. Da -da, da -da. George, you. you're very down to earth. Yeah, yeah George, yeah, you're yeah. down to earth. Yeah, you're sorted. All right then. Let's see now what order the British public have placed you in. Who's the most down to earth? <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, we're all wrong. Uh -oh. You're all wrong. Are you're all, all wrong. wrong. Yeah, Joe, you'd have got it if you just stopped there. Because I say fuck a lot. No. <laughs> I can't swear on this. This is going out to tea time. There's children watching. <laughs> right, next question. Let's have a look at your next question. OK, then. What is it? Who is the most famous? Ten Ooh. seconds. Oh, George. Oh, George. 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 Denise. Yeah, no, no Denise. James. You're an Olympian. No, you're an Olympian. Oh. Well, an Olympian. Come on. Oh, Ten Jesse. seconds. You're an Olympian. Quick, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Time's up. Yeah. Time is up. Yeah. Let's yeah. see what the great You're British idiot. public has placed you in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 
<laughs> You've all got a point. There you go. Well yeah. done. All right, then, Tom. Oh, that's that's your next point. question. <laughs> Let's have a look what your next question is, please. Who is the most fashionable? Oh, stay there. Oh, yeah, stay here. No, oh, John, you're oh, fashionable. I'm not. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'm here somewhere. Come on, hurry up. Ten seconds. Let's see. Let's see what order the great British public has placed you in. Let's see. George! You've all been getting points here. Oh, you would have broken girls. George's heart. I'm getting a pain in my chest That would have here. broken and George's finally, heart. finally, here's your last question. Right, come on. Are you ready for this one? Put it up, please. I'm not psychic. I'm not Donald <laughs> Stokes. Right, who is the richest? you got ten seconds. Oh, he's got five thousand. Well, I'm Manny. Well, I'm Manny. Well, I'm five kids. Well, I'm five kids. Come on, sort yourselves out of there. Ten seconds. I'm five kids. Hurry up. Quick, quick, quick. Time's up. Time is up. Oh, I've got five oh, kids. I've got Let's see what order the great so British public have put you in. Let me have a look. Voila! Yeah! 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 You've done well on this round. <laughs> I've lived to come back from the edge. Well, that was the last oh, one. Oh, 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 so we're going to have a look now at the final scores. Come on, Joe. Let's have a look. Thanks. Yeah! Really, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Joe, congratulations. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him a car. Oh, stop <laughs> it. Got a little check on With the lid and everything. Joe, look you're at, so jealous, in ya? Look at this, Joe. <laughs> there is your prize. It's worth a fortune, honestly. Honestly? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, don't freaking <laughs> break it! Stacey will love that when you get that I'm out. I'm not joking, you She will. She'll find use for that. It's the biggest cock she'll ever see. <laughs> Your lot for this evening. Will you please put your hands together for this band of representatives? Mr. Boy George, let's see you. The one and only Joe Brand, quicker than a whippet, Denise Lewis. And tonight's winner, Mr. Joe Scott. Yeah. <laughs> a huge thanks to all of you for watching. Mind the lid, and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da, look after yourselves. <laughs>